بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Continuing in volume 2 of Riyadh Salihin, book number 15, the book of the remembrance of Allah. Narrated Ali radiallahu anhu that when Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in salah, he used to supplicate towards the end of the salah after tashahud and before the concluding salutation. Allahumma gfirli wa qaddamu ma qaddamtu ma qaddamtu wa ma akhartu wa ma asratu wa ma a'latu a'lantu wa ma ashraftu asraftu wa ma asraftu wa ma anta a'lamu bihi minni anta al-muqaddimu wa anta al-muakhiru La ilaha illa ant. O oh Allah, forgive my former and latter sin, which I have done secretly and those which I have done openly, and that I have wronged others and those defaults of mine about which you have better knowledge than I have. You alone can send whomever you will to paradise, and you alone can send whomever you will to hellfire. None has the right to be worshipped but you. Muslim. Narrated Aisha radiallahu anha that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to recite frequently in his bowing and prostration. Subhanakallahumma rabbana wa bihamdika Allahumma gfirli. O Allah, our Lord, glory be to you and yours is the praise. Forgive my sins, Al-Bukhari and Muslim. Narrated Aisha radiallahu anha that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to recite in his bowing and prostration, Subbuhun Qaddusun Rabbul Malaikati Warruh You are the most glorious, the most holy. You are our Lord and Lord of the angels and of the spirit, i.e. Jibril, Muslim. Subbu and Quddus are two attributive names of Allah which denotes his perfect purity and uniqueness. Ar-Ruh means Jibril, although he also comes in the category of angels, but his special mention is made here to emphasize his majesty and honor. In short, the recitation of the prayers mentioned in this hadith is in keeping with the practice of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Narrated Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma that Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Glorify your Lord in ruku and exert yourself in supplication in prostration. Thus your supplications are liable to be accepted. Muslim. Narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A slave becomes nearest to his Lord when he is in prostration, so increase supplication while prostrating. Muslim. Both the hadith mentioned above evidently show that there is greater possibility of acceptance of an invocation which is made in prostration. Therefore, one must do it in the voluntary salah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Salaam, Salaam, Ala Rasulillah. Two comments I want to make here about the session this morning. That one of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is hadith which is reported by Ali, Anta al-Muqaddimu wa Anta al you are the one who advanced, okay, قدم, to come closer or to advance and مؤخر, to put somebody in the back to be behind. And this is in every action or every thing that happened. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who has the control, okay, so he can advance the people 
or he can delay people. He can make people winners or can make people losers. He can make nations up or he can make nations down. He can put people to Jannah or people can be deleted from the mercy of Allah and go to hellfire. So a taqdeem wa ta'khir, to advance and to delay, to put forward or to put backwards, is in the hand and under the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is two attributes of Allah, al-muqaddim, al-muakhir, okay? Come closer or go back, okay? Get closer, qaddim, qaddim, okay? Akhar. Go back, 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 okay? And this this was happening that we see it in our life, and it's going to be also after life. In life, is that about people whom Allah makes them successful or makes them losers, okay? And people who, you understand, be up or people be down. Everything in the hand of Allah. The second point about the last two hadith about the position of sujood and the importance of sujood. The other things to teach us that we need to really reflect on our prayer and take our time. You see, stand is something to honor and to integrate, to show greatness to Allah. And after this, you come to ruku'ah. And this is, you lowering yourself more. And after this comes to the lowest that you can put yourself down. Now you take all your body and you put in yourself, your forehead and your nose, your two hands, your two knees, your two feet, okay? You show in total submission to Allah. You see, so in sujood is more submission than ruku'ah, and ruku'ah is more debasing yourself than be standing up, you understand? You see that the people standing there for the king or the chief of the tribe, whatever it is, comes a bound down, but comes more than this, which is the sujood, and all these things is not to be done to anyone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't stand for a flag, okay? We don't stand for, for a judge coming in, we don't stand for anybody. But Allah said, وَقُومُوا لِلَّهِ قَانِتِينَ The standing is something to be done in for honor and respect and uh, worship for Allah. And comes down more to be in ruku' and bound, and come more and more to be in sujood. Now when you are in the position of sujood, you are more in the closest way and form you can debase yourself for Allah. So the Prophet Sallallahu is saying that you should take advantage of this position and in being this situation because you're more closer to Allah and that your da'a has a chance of being accepted more than any other way or any other time. So it is the time that for you really to take your time and call in Allah. So rushing in sujood and things like this, this is not correct, okay? Take your time. You have opportunity that Allah had given it to you that you can call in Him, that you can ask Him, that you can beg Him. So this is one thing that we should be uh, honor and have appreciation that Allah gave it to us in Salah, that be in sujood and we take it for take advantage of it and we call in Allah asking him that what we want. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us all and that Allah answer our dua insha'Allah. Ameen. Can you ask, can you say anything? You can ask anything unless it's something sinful or calling in destruction of the Muslims. Anything you want, even if you want the shoes, you want the nice boot, whatever it is, you understand? Ask Allah, you have to see this closeness between you and Allah that you can ask Him for anything. You, you can't have no excuse for the Russian. You can't, can you have an excuse for Russian? For wishing? Rushing. 
Russian. Forget about the brothers. Let's let's focus about Abu Bakr. Let's focus on Muhammad Ali. Forget about people. We here to focus on ourselves, to think about self, to correct ourselves. Forget about people now, okay? Sometimes we're so busy about what people don't know. We here talking about things so we can try to implement it. The more you focus about yourself and forget about the people, the more that you can improve yourself. Sometimes you get so busy about looking what other people doing, okay? When the people come and sit and listen and everybody try to correct himself and herself, this was going to bring about improvement. Now, he may become the majority of us doing the right thing. He found those who lacking, they get to see that everybody doing this, they're going to be doing it. Okay? Mm-hmm. But it's time for us to start to think and reflect, especially so like, about our salah. You, you said one time that when, you know, you missed the Jamaat Salah, like, the brother come in late and everybody's you praying. And then <coughs> if, if one brother came in about a little Three or four minutes before he did, and they, they didn't, everybody didn't slam loud, but it's still one brother praying. And that brother that came in behind him, would it be best for him to stand next to him or go further on the other side and make his own prayer by himself? <coughs> you understand what I'm saying, Chip? I'm trying to. See, I mean, like. Tell me what you doing. Don't tell me about uh, this, this brother and this brother. Tell me I came and I found such and such. The reason I'm saying, like, okay, sometimes brothers be praying and they they be rushing inside. I don't rush inside. I try to take my time, but I, you know, they be wanting me to come and join with the jamaat. Cause it might Don't be join jam- the jamaat is when the imam, you understand, leading the salah. This is the jamaat. There is no jamaat after this. Okay. So don't ask, or don't to go make your salah in your own self the way you like to do it because you don't be complaining about how they are rushing. You are a free man, you do what you want. Somebody said, come and they say, no, I want to do my salah, okay? You go to the side. If you miss the salah with the imam, you go to the side and take your time and make your salah the way you want it. To be comfortable, take your time, glorify Allah, all these things. Okay? Nobody can put a gun in your head and say, come and pray behind me. I hear the brother say, he think he's better than us. Okay. <laughs> How because about... I didn't join in, in with them. And, and I didn't know if it was a racial remark or, mm. or they were just saying that I knew how to pray better than them. Don't worry about it. You know, there's so much stuff going on, man. And I try not to rush because that could be my last a lot. This is true. I don't know true. what I'm going to do. I'm like, anything. Okay, driving. so I'm telling you, if you want to understand, especially some people, I'm talking about some people, mm-hmm. they have nothing to do outside, okay? And after this, they come in, catching the last raka or mm-hmm. coming to pray behind. Why? These people, they have nothing to do, especially if they live in beside the mosque and Allah gives them legs to walk or a bike to ride or anything like this, and they still is not catching their jama'ah prayer. Those people need a spanking. Yeah, and they need, when they come to the class, to stop complaining about others. Are you talking about Abu Bakr? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he said on a sneak kill. He went through right. one of y'all's spanking. So, so Sheikh, now about the, the court and people standing. You know, as, as we have in the hadith, وَقُومُوا لِلَّهِ قَانِتِينَ Yeah. Now, standing out of respect or out of whatever the custom is going on here, and if you don't stand, you, you know, you remain seated, you know, uh, you may cause some you know, uh, tension or, or you know, Trauma. may ask, yeah, yeah, to be stand or, or would I rather sit down or stand with everybody because I'm standing out of whatever. That's the custom and respect and Akhi, I'm not, I'm the not sunnah of, of the prophet have to be dearer to us than any customer and the people have to 
especially it's time to revive the son of the prophet. Many things been dead and somebody have to take this heat and do it. Okay? There is no standing for anybody. Okay? And if somebody said, I said, listen, because I care for you, I didn't stand. Because the Prophet says, Those who love people to stand for them, let them have a seat in hellfire. So mm. I love you, I care oh. for you, I don't want you to have a seat in hellfire. Yeah, but, but <laughs> now we're standing for people, is, you don't understand that, you know, you and they, I they, understand they, So when are you going to understand? Mm. How are we going when to make them Islam, understand? But you're not in Islam, he didn't want Brother, to. we live in, in America, okay? So the people, nobody can tell me what to do, okay? Mm. Maybe if you in other country, and now if not, after the seating, in the gathering, some people will take you and put you in jail for a couple of weeks. This is a different story, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, after avoiding this harm, that what people looking at you, you understand, was like bad look and think, don't, don't worry about this, okay? Don't worry about this. People have to get to know what is right and what is wrong, what is Sunnah and what is Bid'ah. It's mm -hmm. time that we revive it. Be among the stranger. Okay, so this is the time that we need to everybody start to practice what is right. What is more than even when you start for you in the interview, getting you understand your your green card. <laughs> I didn't even stand. Okay. Yeah, but I'm saying I've been in a court. You understand? Not because I did some uh, to be witness for something or whatever, or they want my testimony or what is the verdict in Islam about such. I go there. Hey. Everybody rise. I say, I don't try. Rise for what? I sit down, okay? You want to avoid the understand problem? Okay, you don't have to both sit in the front seats, sit in back seats. So who's who's watching you? They want to your side or to your side? It's, it's up to them. Okay, I'm, I'm not rising. I'm not rising. I'm not rising for a flag. I'm not rising for a judge. I'm not standing for anybody. Now, if somebody imposes it on me, and now I'm going to get myself really in trouble, okay? They jail me. This is a different story, okay? But because embarrassment and the culture and this and this, this is weakness on us that we still, and everybody keep standing, standing. When the people going to know? It's not. Yeah, what is more than the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Sure, sure. Please. Here's a brother. He's praying like Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr. This is a very important point. I'm here. I'm but yeah, but the Sheikh he'll address that later because I want him to finish. Okay. Okay, my bad. Shukran. Please, he forgot where he was. I'm just gonna demonstrate because brothers get attitude. We'll stick it in there anyway. Demonstration. What is? Put the chair for him? No, he put no. He put it to keep him, somebody from walking in front okay. of him. Okay, so he made a sutra for himself. Didn't you say it was bigger? Achi, the, the brother before he get start to make his prayer, put a chair in front of him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you can pass in front of the chair, not between him and the chair. You can't. The wall is right there. You can't walk in between them. Okay, and the so there's no problem then. But he put the chair there. There's one no reason for him to put the chair there. And I told him, I said, Brother, you don't need no chair here. And can't nobody walk in front of you. Well, he was up here in the front? Oh, but he, 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 was just, right? he was trying to just be safe. He, he was just trying to double That's safe. That's just big dumb, brother. They done picked uh, that habit up. Yeah. And when uh. you try to tell the brother, this is good. I can see what is the the What year. is the bid'ah? Huh? What is the bid'ah that you talk about? Whenever, whenever you pray, 
you supposed to have a sutra in front of you, anything with a height. Like as a zombie, he puts this in front of you like this, and you pray. So anybody want to pass, he can pass from here. I will go over here, it's a wall it, there. It, it is good, this, this, you understand? The prophet did not say you have to go to the wall, okay? He said make a sutra. So the wall can be a sutra. The member here, you understand if it's in the, it can be a sutra. Putting a chair in front of you is, a, you understand, is a sort anything that has a height, you put it in front of you. Now people can pass after the sutra, but not between the person and his sutra. Whatever the sutra is, is a chair, is a stick, is a, is a sword, anything that it has a height, he put it between him and him, okay? But for you to tell the person, no, you have to go to the wall, this is not up to you, up, up to me. This is your choice. As the long as but only way he could do that shit is go behind him, brother, and walk around. Yeah, and go back. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Okay, this is the wall here, right? Yeah. And the brother's praying here. Right. And he put a sutra here, right? Yeah. So you saying there's no? No, need he for... had the sutra right in front of him. Okay, he had the sutra here. Okay. This right is... in front of him, just like this is right here. Okay. So okay. if somebody can go here. and sit in, sit yeah. in the chair, okay. I guess that's okay. Too. Can I ask you a question? I'm no. here. I'm here. Here's the wall, correct? Right. The brother's standing here praying, right? Yeah. And he put a sutra right here, right? Yeah. Okay, you're saying that there's a wall there, nobody can can get... You can't get around okay. it. Okay, let's say that you took that sutra away, and I stood here in front of the brother like this. Now, why I, would you I, 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 Why would I? Yeah. I did. I just done it because it was snowing outside. I did it. See, so what? Okay, situation. I'm trying to show you that I would have broke his salah by just standing on the wall. I'm, I'm tired. I'm leaning against the wall, in front of him praying. So he put a chair there for see, me to lean on the wall behind his chair. See, the brother gonna take an attitude. I'm making an excuse for my brother. That's what I'm doing. Are you taking up for your brother? No, I'm making an excuse for my brother. You're taking up. You see, as example, when you come for Juma, and yeah. some people already sitting, mm -hmm. okay. So you know that they're sitting already waiting for the Imam. So these people will be 90%. They are not going to be moving from this spot. You can use, like Muhammad sitting like this, you can use him as a sutra and come behind him and they pray. Anybody come to cross between you and him, now you have the right to stop him. Exactly. So you can take the wall as a sutra. You can take the man as a sutra. You can take whatever, anything has a height to take it as sutra. Now, this your privacy between you and this, nobody is supposed to cross in front of you. Doesn't matter if it's a bike, if it's a camel, if it's a chair. A if billfold, it, uh, eyeglasses. Uh, no, cool. Start with some height, I If I'm there is nothing <laughs> with the height that you can find, okay? Yes, you can put your coffee, but the red thing is with cool the height. at your red beard. Yeah, I, it just don't make no sense to... Uh, it's not about sense, Abu Bakr, we follow a law. It's not the sense. Why do you want to take a chance in committing a sin when it's not necessary? Why you worry about other people? Let's talk about me and you now, okay? I'm, because this, it happened to me. What, okay, you, Abu Bakr, we're right. asking you, okay, that when you, anytime you pray, make a sutra. This is number one. Number two, we asking you, not out of a sunnah, Stop using chairs and move to the wall because you live behind you about three feet. And after this, you put in the chair, okay, in front of you about three feet. So now you became taking almost half of the mask only for you. So we asking you instead of taking the chair, please, can you move to the wall? But I could not say to you, if you did this, you don't be done. Do you understand? I understand what you're saying, shit, but. There is no but this is enough now. You say that in the cookbook. Mm -hmm. That brother was, was making bit of doing that kind of stuff and then picking it up and bringing it in here. Not only the churros, but other things like. You may make it. Uh, Abu Bakr, can I, I ask a question? Yeah. Thank you. I'm just going to start a word, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> see if I remember. Uh, uh,